At the foot of Mount Seymour in North Vancouver lies one of the more beautiful munis you could ever hope to play. And a special shout out to my friend Nash and his team at Cloud9 Golf and Travel who helped me capture some of this footage today. From the very first shot at Northlands, it's clear you're playing big boy golf in a beautiful mountain setting in the Pacific Northwest. And I start the day right before doing this. Bounce, big bounce. Hitting this pitch into one, my ball hits off a front slope of the green and gets ejected to the back for a tough double breaking putt. Now turn back. Oh. So we'll have to settle for a bogey on the first hole. Northlands isn't the longest course, but the elevation change is unreal and the targets are small. And my big stick was working for most of the day. But inside oh, 100 yeah. yards, I did a whole lot of this. That wedge was so bad, I decide I'm just going to putt with a hybrid for the next one. And the result is pretty darn good. And we'll take par on two. This is a course where you want a slope adjusted rangefinder. And mine tells me that this is playing about 10 yards shorter than the number. Thanks. And I'm thrilled that my six iron comes up oh, pin no, that's high. Way low. That wasn't very good. Not the best first putt, but we'll tidy it up. The signature par five is a monster. It's a little high. And we're okay with that one. Thanks. The second shot is not fantastic, and playing uphill, I just don't get away with it. And the third shot, playing another 20 yards uphill, comes up short. This is a really tough chip, and I'm trying to land it just where it lands, but it gets caught up there. And suddenly, after being green high in regulation, I'm doing a whole lot of hacking around here. And we have to take a double. The Shot Tracer app oh, no. really struggled with footage from this camera, so oh. you'll have to excuse some of these wonky tracers. This drive finds a bunker, Thanks. and I just kind of carve it out of there with a 5 hybrid. That was better than it could have been. So inside 100 yards, I'm hoping to make no worse than 3, and I chunk another wedge into the bunker. Out of the bunker, we're not much better. And now we have a 6 foot putt for back to back doubles. And at least we make that one. <laughs> the shot tracer is wonky here. Yeah, was good. But this one was long and straight. <laughs> We're inside 100 again, and we chunk Three it for the now. fourth time. And we'll go with a putt with the hybrid again, because right. it treated us well last time. Oh, and it did go that way. I watched two in a row, three in a row, break this way. And you can tell that one confused me. The seventh hole is also a bit of a monster, with a blind yeah, tee shot just be a that leads into home. a blind approach. I no, missed this left. one a little left, yeah. and I'm short-sighted. And this is another chip that went basically where I wanted it to, but gets ejected to the back of the green. Not my best lag putt. And we're Three stacking double. doubles. Three doubles and seven holes. This is such a beautiful hole, and I actually painted the flag stick with this five iron. Should be. It pitches at the pin and rolls no, out just a good. bit. And finally, a decent lag putt. And a par. Barely. Here's this round encapsulated in one hole. I hit a great drive here. And I hit a terrible approach shot here. It finds its way into the bunker, I don't know where, where I went. hit one more fantastic shot. It almost went in. Oof. And I follow that up with one more terrible shot. Oh, that was the worst. So recapping this front nine, the driver was fantastic, but the bad shots were really bad. And virtually every time I hit a bad shot, it cost me an opportunity of getting up and down. Oh, good miss. The shot tracer was generous here. This ball yeah. actually drew, but got a good yeah, kick off of a side not hill. Hit well. And we have a pitch and putt shot in that we chunk into the water. So we'll get to do it again from 50 yards. 
And from a bit of a flatter lie, we hit a good one. And we'll have 12 or 13 feet to get out of here with bogey. But it's not meant to be, and we start the back with another double. There's two ways to handle being 11 over through 10. You can get angry, or just keep focusing on the next shot. And that's what I tried to do. I'm putting from short of the green here, and I hit a good one, and it feels good to make a par after the last hole. Oh no. Go hard. Go hard. The shot tracer is slower than the ball here, but this 5-iron does manage to get to the green. That was not well struck. <laughs> this is not good. Oh, that wasn't good. Or is some chicken left on that? But fortunately, this one is. Yeah. Thanks. Does anyone know what happened to the guy who used to sell balls on this tee? Yeah, I used to lose right. so many here and buy them right oh, back from him. Thanks. Once again, we're inside 100 yards. And this one oddly Set. rolls out even though it's going uphill. This is a double breaker. And I somehow leave it above the hole. And I think there's a bit of break on this. But I'm wrong. <laughs> And we take a three-pot bogey. Oh, no. That was terrible. That's the worst shot I've hit today. That's not true, Adam. I've hit worse today. Including that one that's even worse than the last one. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Back to the bogey train. Oh, that's not good. This is my Northland's nemesis hole. That's my first, it's my first miss with driver all day. And here I break my own rule of not trying stupid shots after bad shots. Yeah, good out. <laughs> it's so bad I get away with it. And I hit a forward again, but this is playing about 250 with the slope. And now I'm pitching up to this hole blind and run it a bit past and I'm putting from off the green for par. And frankly, at this point of the day, bogeys start to feel like pars. Oh. Yeah, the wheels are coming off here a bit. Anyone see what's down there? Yeah. And this winds up better than I thought it did. Thanks. And we'll have a look at par. Oh. But that's the kind of day we're having. A decent drive on 17 turns the hole to a par 4. Oh, f off. <laughs> that was so bad. And my f off is definitely audio recorded. Eh? <laughs> With hybrid in, we can still get there. But I know right away that this is drawing towards the bunker. This out isn't really good Thanks. enough. But we have a putt for Bird. Did you do it? Oh, it never oh. broke! Oh. And we'll take par. There's time for one more good drive. A really good one, in fact. And there's time for one more chunk. <laughs> All hail the inanimate blue post that stopped this ball from going in the hazard. There was a rock right in front of me here, and I had to lift this ball and hope my club wouldn't hit the rock on the way out. And in this uphill lie, I chunk one more. Can I make one to finish the day? No. Seems fitting that we close the day with one more double. So today's round just sucked. And it's funny because two videos ago on the channel, I had a score that was good for a two point something differential. And today it was a 15 differential. I don't really know what the takeaways are here. I'm just gonna say that golf is hard.